Hey beloveds, I'm Yvette Ratjukopa, author, life coach, and wellness educator. I help people heal and create the lives that they want. Today, I want to talk about emotions. How do you deal with your emotions? How do you manage them, you know? So many of us experience emotions and we're like, I don't want to feel this, I don't want to feel this, I don't want to feel this. And sometimes we do for a long time. Until they catch up with us and we find ourselves falling apart. And that's why this conversation about emotions is quite important. What's your relationship with emotions? So let's start at the definition of emotions. Emotions are energy in motion. The word emotion comes from the word emoter, which means energy in motion. Don't say I've never taught you guys anything. So... Now that you know that emotions are energy in motion, that those emotions are there to bring your awareness to something, right? And a lot of us suppress them, and here's why. So we may suppress emotion because we've been through so many traumatic events that we've become numb. We don't want to express anything because we don't see the purpose of it. We may suppress emotion because we weren't allowed to feel it. So, for example... I'm from South Africa, and I believe most of the listeners here are South African. And I know I have a couple of other listeners from across the world. And growing up, you know, in an African background, sometimes when you cry, you're told that you don't cry blood. So your tears actually mean nothing. Or you'd get beaten for crying. What that says to a child's mind, right? Or maybe you get rejected for crying. While you're crying, it's like, stay in that room, stay in that corner. I'm sure there are people that can relate to this from across the world, regardless of your background, where if you grew up in an environment where your parents had no idea what they were doing and they were just repeating what they were taught by their parents, even though it wasn't really healthy, you'll find that that's some of the treatment that people give to kids. So when that happens to a child, when you're told that it's not okay, the message that you, you receive is that it's not okay to express emotions. It's not safe to express emotions. And then you grow up believing that it's not okay for you to express yourself. And you also believe that your emotions do not matter. What you're feeling does not matter, which is not the truth. So that's another reason why some people may not feel okay with expressing emotions because they believe that they do not matter because of certain experiences earlier on in their childhood. This could have just been neglect. Maybe your parents had a toxic relationship and they really weren't too concerned about what's going on with your emotions. Maybe you you went through something, your parents went through a divorce and really nobody asked you. So you just never learned to express yourself. Maybe nobody ever held space for you and just asked you, what are you feeling today? And said, oh, you're angry, that's okay. You're sad, that's okay. I'm here for you. And it's okay to be sad. It's okay to be angry right? Maybe nobody acknowledged those things, which means as you grew up, you never acknowledged those emotions. So the thing is, when we don't acknowledge our emotions, they don't disappear. They stay there. That's why if you experience a trauma early on in your life, you feel the emotions in your body, right? Because emotions also stay in our bodies because again, they're energy, right? If you don't release energy, if you don't process it, it stays in your body. And as you get older, right? That emotion of anger, resentment, fear builds up. And then it starts to erupt, right? It starts to leak through. It shows up in the workspace. It shows up in your relationships. Or you just build a wall because you're too afraid to feel. Because what if you can't handle it? Or what if it's not safe for you to express it and you're rejected for expressing your emotions? Different experiences, right? And you build this wall and you struggle to express it. And one day you just explode or you just start to feel it in your body, right? You start to feel it. You start to feel anxiety because the fear has built up over time. You start to feel deep sadness because the sadness has built over time and you just haven't expressed or released it. Or the anger is built up over time because nobody has been acknowledging you. So that little girl, that little boy grows up and still feels unheard. A little English still feels unheard. So that's how emotions affect us. So how do you then begin to express your emotions? This is probably what you're thinking right now as you're listening to this audio podcast video. And 
that's the thing about emotions. Like I said, they're there to serve a purpose. So these, this is the purpose of the different emotions. Fear is there to help you acknowledge that there's danger, right? So it's there to serve that purpose, to keep you from jumping off a bridge, running into the middle of the road and different things. And I always say we can either act from fear or wisdom, which is a whole other podcast or recording. But really, fear has its purpose. It's to keep us from doing those things that put our life in danger. But of course, if you live in fear consistently, then it's holding you back. Sadness is there to show you that you're, you're, you're sad. You've lost something of value to you. Something has affected you and it's making you sad. Anger is to show you that you're uncomfortable at something. You're not pleased with something the way that something happened has or has occurred. So that's what anger brings to your awareness. And in acknowledging those different things, resentment, something has been built. That's when, so anger becomes resentment over time. And I have a whole chapter on this in my book, Living Consciously. So these emotions are there to serve some sort of purpose, all of that. Guilt, shame, you feel embarrassed. Is that embarrassment for you to carry? You know, but nonetheless, those emotions are there to bring something to your awareness. So what do you need to do with emotions? You need to acknowledge them. Acknowledge them and name them one by one, right? In South Africa, we have this thing that we say, one by one, name them one by one. What are you feeling? Call it out. Because you, your inner child never got to express it and to call that emotion out. So in acknowledging yourself as an adult and acknowledging your emotions and what you're feeling and why you're feeling it, you start to heal that inner child. What are you feeling and why are you feeling it? Okay, I'm uncomfortable. Why am I uncomfortable? This person did this. So what am I going to do about it? That's your name, the last thing that you need to do. What are you going to do about this thing? I'm going to talk about it if it's sadness. I'm going to address this person and set a boundary if it's anger. I'm going to speak to this person if it's, I'm going to face it if it's fear and do the thing that I don't want to do. Because the fear might be in my mind. If it's you fearing starting a new job, a new career, you fearing starting a business, you know, fear is holding you back. And that's the thing about emotions. You have to question, is this anger that I'm keeping serving me? Is this deep sadness serving me? Is this serving me, right? And that's when you know that you've been holding on to a certain emotion for too long and it's time to release it. So emotions are there to serve a purpose. Understand them. Understand why they're there. Understand what they're bringing your awareness to. And then give yourself permission to do something about it. Whatever it is, whatever that particular emotion is. So not allowing yourself to feel is like gaslighting yourself. And gaslighting is basically saying, yeah, I'm overreacting, right? Because you weren't allowed to react. Maybe I'm being too much. You're not too much. You are allowed to feel. You are allowed to process. It's bringing your awareness to something. And without that awareness, we can't release the pain. We can't address the issues that are making us uncomfortable in our lives, the things that need to change. Because emotion, it's energy in motion, allows us to act and change our circumstances and do what we need to do and feel what we need to feel. So for the end of this podcast, what do you need to allow yourself to do or feel? Sometimes the thing that you need to do is nothing. You need to allow yourself to feel. I've worked with so many people who struggle to feel. And I've had to create space and assist them in my sessions. So they can just feel what it is they need to feel. Feel that pain because they never allowed themselves to do so. Feel that sadness. Acknowledge it. Acknowledge that it hurts. And then start to process it and say, you know what? I can do something about it now. I can talk about it. I can write about it. I can journal about it. I can feel it. And I can also release it because it's holding me back. It's not serving me to keep it in my body system. I can feel it. It's causing me so much pain and tension in my body. And that's what I have to say about emotions. I'm sending you love where you are. Thank you for listening to this audio on whatever platform you're listening to it on. And I hope you subscribe to my YouTube, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and yeah, moving forward, just feel what you need to feel and take it one day at a time. Acknowledge, acknowledge, acknowledge.
And that's it for me today. Vietra Chukopa, author, life coach, and wellness educator. And until next time, trust the process.